you'll see the symmetrical triangle here. There's a 50% retracement of the rally from the March 2020 low. We touched it right there four days ago. On the upside, you have the upper trend line of the triangle, and then you have the 50-day moving average. Again, to me, this is a token that's sort of stuck in a range, uh, a narrowing range, uh, as it is a symmetrical triangle. And until it resolves below the 50-day simple moving average on a daily close, or we see it get above the 50-day simple moving average on a daily close, you know, you have to expect that this is going to continue in a tightening, tightening range uh, at this point. Downside, if it breaks, if it closes below the 50-day, take a look at the, the convergence of the 200-day simple moving average with the with the anchored VWAP is basically the same, which comes just about in line with the May 23rd low. So again, we have very formidable support on this chart. It still would be a notable decline from from where we are, about 25% decline from, sorry, about a 30% decline from the current price. So I, I'm, I'm tilted a little bit bearish on this um, at this point. I see no volume. The volume profile shows a little bit of distribution, no accumulation at all within the context of the triangle. And the, the correlation with Bitcoin continues to, to fall off. So. I see. I see. So, uh, so yeah, once again, right? I mean, right there, as, as you can see, it seems like the, the 100 uh, day moving average kind of like coincides a little bit with that. Uh, lower trend line right which then is like reinforced by the 50 retracement level but basically around a close around that cluster of support right there that i seems to be between 2400 and 2200 uh it could potentially throw it back to to 1834 right but uh, uh daily candlestick close above the the resistance trend line right uh of this symmetrical triangle and above the basically the 50-day moving 50 average yeah. then we will potentially see this thing rallying back to to the to the all-time high right the all-time high was like 4500 if i'm not mistaken Sheldon? Uh, yeah 4384 yeah yeah exactly so so good good to see i don't know if you you have anything else to say about this Sheldon? Uh, just overall, looking at all this, you know, the, the, the charts, you know, basically you're seeing symmetrical triangles, descending or ascending triangles, or, or, or sideways price action in the form of a consolidation. It just seems to me that the overall cryptocurrency complex is near a, a pivotal moment here where we're going to see these patterns break across the board, whether it's going to be the upside or downside, whether it's going to be because of Bitcoin breaks through that that superior resistance that we talked about earlier. It's tough to say, but I think we are nearing a, a major inflection point for the for the complex here. Yeah, yeah, definitely.